It's Greg Gale, Nova Scottsdale here, and we're talking about year end. So it is first week of October. We're already into the last quarter of 2018. It's crazy how the year's gone by. Now look, what are a couple things that we can do now that can move the needle, impact our year end numbers, but also give us a jump start into 2019? Now, a big program, I've been pushing it for a while, it's calling your database. It's following up with your database. You've spent so much time, money, energy, procuring the client, taking them out, showing homes, listing their property. We close on it and then we don't follow up. So a couple things I wrote in the article was to make sure you have a tight follow-up. So right after the close, call after they move in. Call 30 days later, call six months later, but then get into a system where you are calling annually. So now you've got the annual call after they're closing, check in with them. Go back two, three, four, five years in the database and check in with them. How's the house? Now, if it's been a while, maybe it's, hey, I apologize. It's been a while. Are you still in the same house? Now, once you get past that, how's the fam? What do you have done to the house? Is there anything you need? As we move into the winter, do you need any housekeepers, landscapers, painters, general handyman to do the honey-do list? Like, offer value and then say, hey, I really enjoyed working with you. Can you keep an eye out for me? And can I count on you for one referral between now and the end of the year? Hey, while you're at the pumpkin patch, the taco festival, the Thanksgiving day table, the holiday parties, if you hear mortgage or real estate, do you feel comfortable referring me? Great, something like that. Now, a sweet system, if you look at the calendar now, there's 13 Thursdays left in the year. Thursday is my theme day to call past clients. So block out an hour. Maybe you need two to catch up, but block out an hour or two on Thursday. Have it in your calendar as a recurring appointment and call your database. Now there's a program out there, you've heard it a lot. It's called the letter of the week. There's 26 letters, there's 52 weeks. If you sort your database by the last name and call the last name starting with A, the first week of January, the last name starts with B, the second week of January, and so on, all those Thursdays combined, you'll have hit your entire database twice. Well, with 13 Thursdays left in 2018, you could call two letters a week. So this Thursday, block it out and call the A's and B's. Next week, the C's and D's. Check in with them. Maybe you do just work up an RPR and say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email you this report that shows the equity in your home. What's your email address? Is your email address still this so you can have accurate data? Add that to your CRM. Keep it clean. By the end of the year, you'll have touched everyone in your database. Now, move it into next year. Keep that routine. Keep that habit going. You'll be able to do it in half the time because you're only going to do one letter a week. A, B, all the way through. So by June 30th of 2019, you'll have hit all 26 again. Look, if you do the letter of the week program, that's two touches a year. If you call your clients annually, that's three. When you call them, find out what their birthdays are, stock them on Facebook, figure it out. Now you have a fourth call on their birthday. You're gonna stay in relationship with your people. Now look, they're gonna make a move in five to seven years. So they're another deal down the road, but they know people that are making moves and you just wanna be the topic of their conversation. Conversation. You want to be top of mind, and that doesn't happen just because you did their last deal. It happens because you stay in relationship. This is one of the tactics that I coach on, which is the least expensive and easiest one. Pick up the phone and call them. So sort your database, get it in line, call the A's and B's this Thursday, and then from there, go through the end of the year. Call me back or email me and let me know the results. I had an agent do this two weeks ago. Within three days, he had four listing appointments just off his A's and B's, and he only had 200 people in his database. So, make the calls. All right, have a great day.